very interesting long run. Daniel, uh, congratulations on your win. Here's my question for you. We've watched you compete for lots of years, and Sweden is kind of track crazy. Tell us about the pressure on you as a discus thrower in Sweden, or if you feel pressure as a, as the top thrower in Sweden. Well, my goal has been to just have fun and uh, travel around the world and continue my work. And, uh, I've been fighting with the technique a lot through the years, and uh, I'm getting stronger in the gym, and I'm staying injury free and I'm having fun with those guys and all the discus colleagues when we travel. So. Yeah, so I'm really proud of this, and uh, yeah, it's awesome. Congratulations. I just wanted to hear a little bit about your celebrations. You built up some speed, cleared a couple of hurdles. Is that your usual, or were you, were you saving up for this one? Yeah, of course. I was, well, I was of course, happy. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to show people that, of course, we big guys are not just and strong. I just want to show everyone that you can run most. <laughs> Question? Mr. Brockman, to Gold and Silver, it was a little bit closer than we expected perhaps before the competition. Luki is coming closer and closer to you, and you know I'm writing about Luki. What do you think? How close he can come? More than not to you, but uh, well, I think you know it's based on training and everything. You know that that will stop training just to say, but um, I don't know. Still, got to do more. Got to go. Just got more rounds. Who knows? It might switch up in a few years. Mm -hmm. Hi, Nani. What do you think about looking? Yeah, if, if you just continue what he's doing. Austria is also quite the same size as Sweden and uh, also Jamaica, so we're not of those kind of throwing countries. So we have to believe in ourselves, and uh, yeah, it's really fun. I'm, I'm really happy to look at it. Just want to mention that it's the first ever men's medal in the World Championships for Austria. Ever. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> awesome. So, guys, you have to say something, yeah? <laughs> yeah, what, what can I say? Uh, for me, for me, it's great to compete with these two guys. They're really funny guys. They make um, every competition to a funny competition, <laughs> and um, I'm really proud to represent uh, Austria in in Doha and win the the first uh, medal for for Austria. Uh, it's a great feeling. The gentleman in the back. Vijay from the Jamaican sport, Jamaican athletics is not Jamaica is not only about sprinters. We just elaborate on that, what it will do for Jamaica. And uh, in the future we see more athletes, not only sprinters, but other events as well from Jamaica.
think so far in Berlin what he did uh, was unbelievably good. And uh, he's Swedish now and he's going to have fun tomorrow. I really believe in him. Yeah, it's going to be great day. I, I miss my family. I haven't seen them for many weeks and my, my months. So yeah, it's going to be fun to see them tonight. And yeah, it's awesome feeling that they're here. May I say again that your English is uh, better than my Swedish? So, thank you for asking the question. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to ask uh, each one of the guys, um, can you tell us, do you have a feeling, when you're throwing a big throw, do you know the difference between a big throw and a throw that you're, that's absolutely crap? I mean, can you, can you feel it when you're releasing? Or is it just watching it? And, um, well, yeah, yeah, you know when you've got a big throw, based on the feeling that, you know, it's just a strong feeling, you know, you know, you finish the third properly and everything, so, it's more about the build-up, so, yeah, you definitely know when you've got a big throw. Daniel, when you had the big throws this season, did you know that, uh, when you released it, or did you have a good feeling that you were going to do well in that competition? Yeah, it was in this small, small village or small village, we didn't fantastic win in that throw in the fifth round. I had a good technique in that throw and I did it pretty good, 7186. So I'd say it was awesome. It was great. Day. All those weeks they was maybe like 150 people involved. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas? So, all of you take uh, the question. Uh, um, Lucas, normally the success for most of sports is only in the sport. So what I said before, it's really historic medal. How is it possible for an Austria elite finally to be in the top three? And how was it possible with a coach and these other circumstances? Because that is unusual. Can you explain that? I think in other countries there have a lot of like um, high performance center with a uh, new mechanic and a lot of people who who work for the athlete that they're getting better and better. Um, in Austria I have, uh, I have a great coach and I think uh, normally it's like uh, it's, it's a two-man show but it feels like 20 guys who, who work on my, my technique, on, on my weightlifting and my technique and um, the, the medal I made today is um, only for, for two guys, it's for me and my coach Daniel. TV channel today during the competition that you were throwing pretty bad thinking what shouldn't he just be happy for you winning a goal? Well I can agree with him it was not so good thinking not so far today but my goal today was to just try to get the goal and I see that I did this one. Yeah. Any other questions before we got release the guys? So thank you. Okay, can I add some, some more, so um, we know that the item is paying $20,000 for, for the bronze medal, but the Austin Federation is possible that is more for him €25,000 for the bronze medal. So he gets more from the Austin than from the item left. I guess that's quite unusual. Okay, so after the statement by Olaf, <laughs> <laughs> uh, our group for the